here it's here it is here now yeah. hi you already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I just want to introduce you, you know? Oh, okay. Well, it's time for training, Aaron. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. All right. Well, it's time for training. As I said, we're talking about a waiter getting stiffed for a tip, uh -oh. an athlete looking to inspire his followers, and a tradition to run up a lot of stairs. First up, a New York waiter who was stiffed on a tip had a chance to turn the other cheek, and that chance was worth over $400,000. Waiter Armando Marcage was flagged down by a guest at the New York Pizzeria where he works. The woman was upset about the lack of women featured on pictures on the wall there. Marcage says he attempted an answer with humor, saying, quote, well, maybe women don't eat pizza, end quote. The woman was unamused and left behind only a note reading, women don't tip either. But that's not all she left behind. Jeez. Marcage later discovered she left an envelope containing a cashier's check for $434,000. Some might have chosen payback, but Marcage took the high road. He and his boss tracked the woman down to return the money. Turns out it was her life savings. She was using it to buy a home. The woman apologized and thanked him, offering a tip, which he refused, saying it wasn't about the money. He did it for himself. Mm. So, well, this is interesting. <coughs> so be nice to your waiters. I mean, be nice to everyone. Yeah, be nice <laughs> to everybody. And leave a tip, maybe? Uh, wow. I'll yeah, leave a tip and don't leave a check for four hundred thousand yeah. dollars in a restaurant. <laughs> I shouldn't be um, walking around with that anyway. <laughs> I mean, won't be in that situation. I wouldn't even. I would go to the bank first thing. I don't think I'd even risk having that out. I'd leave stuff everywhere. But I'm sorry. That's I nice. mean, it's a good story that he yeah. decided to take the high road and yes. do the right thing. Yeah. Yes. New York athlete Christopher Joyce displays his impressive strength and balancing skills in training videos that have gone viral since he <laughs> posted them. <laughs> He originally created the handstand workouts on rolling dumbbells and barbells a couple years ago, but he's taken this to new levels with the help of his mother. He said he wanted to do something extra special for his followers, so he asked his mom to wake him up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym to roll me some dumbbells. His Instagram followers were quick to offer compliments on his post with some expressing hope that they may one day accomplish the same thing. Oh, one oh, hand. Oh, oh my man. God. Nope. How do you do that? That's amazing. Oh, I wish. Oh, my gosh. That takes so much upper body strength. That's some skill wow. right there. Some skill I, right there. Yeah. I, and I complain about a push-up. Well, dang. We are going to uh, continue to stay <laughs> in the state of New York. We are. <laughs> Runners from around the world gathered in New York last night to run up some stairs, but not just any flight of stairs. Last night was the 42nd annual Empire State Building run-up. Competitors race up the famous skyscrapers 86 flights of stairs to the observation deck. Specifically, that is more than 1,500 stairs. Runners say it's quite a challenge, and now it takes the best runners about 10 minutes what? to complete the climb. Okay. If they took the elevator to the observation deck, it would take under a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd take the elevator. Um, yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes, that's quick. It's that's really hard to do that. The question that's is, do you skip a step and go, true. you know, every other? What's your strategy? That's a great one concept at a time? for an event, though. I love it. They do it in um, Chicago, too. Yeah. Yeah. I've never done it, though. Have you? No. No. Oh. Do, would you ever do this? I don't know. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, the bad part is, isn't it easier? No. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be like, yeah. I guess your work, like your cool down would be coming down the stairs, right? So I the hope there's a, I'd take the elevator yeah. down. Forget that. I'm saying, not, I, think I hope there's a beer there. at the top. Yeah. I, I hope there's many beers at the top. But our instant connection poll, we want to know what you guys think of this race. Would you ever run up over 1,500 stairs? Let us know if you've ever done something like this. Maybe you did the one in Chicago. But go to our Facebook page and let us know if you think this is crazy or not. But still to come on the morning show, there are a few new special libraries over in Savoy. We'll sit down with the mayor of Savoy and find out why they are doing it. Plus, what makes these libraries a little bit more unique? And we're heading into the Mad Laboratory with U of I physics professor Paul Quiati. He's going to finish our series on magnetism coming up in Wise Guys Wednesday.